Jose Mourinho's explanation for taunting Barcelona fans as Inter Milan heroics turned 12. On this day in 2010, Jose Mourinho rocked Barcelona. His Inter Milan side lost 1-0 at the new camp after Gerard Pique's late goal, but, having won 3-1 at the San Siro, made the Champions League final. And the Portuguese couldn't resist rubbing salt into the Catalan giants' wounds in the immediate aftermath of the fixture. Inter Milan and Barcelona were both going for a treble when they locked horns in the first leg at the San Siro. And it was Mourinho's men who triumphed, putting in a superb display as they blew Pep Guardiola's side away on home turf. Pedro put Barcelona ahead in the 19th minute, but goals from Wesley Sneijder, Macon, and Diego Molito gave Inter a historic win. Ahead of the second leg, many were still expecting Guardiola's side to pull something special out the bag, especially given they possessed attacking talents such as Lionel Messi, Pedro, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Thierry Henry. But while Barcelona did win 1-0 courtesy of Peak's goal, Inter were able to hang on to reach the final. In the immediate aftermath, Mourinho raced onto the field and reveled in the celebrations, having been booed and jeered by Barcelona fans all game. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz it seemed like he was taunting them, with Victor Valdez racing onto the field to confront him. But Mourinho insisted that wasn't the case, later saying, I was celebrating with my fans. It is my right to do that. They are my fans. It is not a problem. Mourinho also went into a rant about Barcelona, accusing them of dirty tricks, especially after Thiago Mata was sent off. Mata was dismissed in the first half after some play acting from Sergio Busquets. And Mourinho said, can you imagine, on the day of the game, preparing in the hotel, and the police arrived to take a player, Samuel Itao, because he didn't pay taxes? Want the latest football news? Join our brand new Facebook group by clicking here Premier League done deals. Every confirmed transfer in the summer, window so far why did they do it? For the same reason, that yesterday we couldn't sleep, when at 4am we had fireworks going off outside our windows. This was difficult with 11 players. With 10 versus 11 it was historic. We were a team of heroes. We sweated blood. I have already won a Champions League, but today was even better. And Mourinho couldn't resist suggesting Barcelona were bad losers, while also hailing Inter for their courageous display. I always say that the team that wins all the time, it is very difficult for them to lose, he said. I was a bad loser when I came here and lost 2-0 in the group stage. They won everything last year and you can't say, just because they lost tonight, that they have lost their power. You cannot say that they are not now a great team, but we played very well in both games. Mourinho's Theatrix also sparked the then Inter boss into saying he'd never manage Barcelona too. He was interviewed for the post in 2008, but missed out to Guardiola, who was a managerial rookie at the time. Mourinho had previously worked at Barcelona for Sir Bobby Robson and Louis van Gaal, but, in his eyes, he was never going to suit them. I'm not stupid enough to think that this hate can be turned into love, he said. I respect Barca and I'll never forget what the club gave me in the four years I was here. But something has been created around me that is hard to make positive. It is clear that I will end my career without having coached Barca.